part three. So in the last part, made this. Did a little bit of background work, added these orbs, and added these rings, made the floor. In this one, we're just gonna add a little bit more detail and then get started on the materials. So we're gonna add a mesh, torus. We're just gonna scale it down a bunch. I'm gonna turn this into a halo. Hit seven to go into vertical view. And then just size it to about the size you want for the head. Go back into camera view. Move it up on the Z axis until you get it where you want it. And we're just gonna add an emission shader on this as well right now, just with 50, just so we can see the bright halo. Give it a nice little reflection on top of the head right there. All right, and then for this, we're gonna select the bottom mesh, Alt D to duplicate it. Move it up on the Z axis a smidgen. Make it, it's a single user. I have a keyboard shortcut. You can do that with object, relation, make single user, object data material. Go over here, and apply this displace. And we're gonna go to decimate, and we're gonna click on planner. So you can see that changes it from 10,000 faces to 6,000 faces, apply, and we're gonna make it a wireframe. While we do this, I'm going to switch back to object view just to save on a little bit of computing space. Down here, we're going to change it from even to relative, and then just mess with the thickness until we get it about where we want it. And I think about there should be good. All right, then we're going to go add another modifier, add a build, check randomize, and then down here, the randomize allows it to grow randomly. But we just want a little bit, so we're going to slide in the time frame to about here. And then we're going to add a solidify after here. We're just going to turn it up a little bit, just till we get them a little bit more blocky. And then after that, add a subdivision surface. Hopefully this doesn't bog down my computer or clash render, because if it crashes it, you just got to restart it. Alright, down here, I'm going to change the render down to 1 go back into render view real quick just to see how this looks. Let's make this black right now just so we can easily see the color. Cool. All right, now let's get to the materials part. This is where the fun actually starts to happen. Let's select this main blue one, go up here into shading. Switch back into render view up here so we can see. Change it from world to object. And here's the basic principle shader that we have, and we're gonna mess with it. So start, shift A, add a color ramp. And then we're gonna add a layer weight as well. And we're gonna add a noise and a wave texture. In the color ramp, switch it from RGB to HSL, far, and then change them both the same color. I'm going to do yellow on this one. And then if you do the same color on both, you can see it gives you the whole spectrum. Take this color, plug it into the base color. Take the layer weight and plug it into here. Click on the layer weight and hit Control T to pop open Node Wrangler if you have it enabled to give it some texture coordinates. And now we're going to change this from UV just to reflection. That way it gives us a nice sort of linear look over here. I'm going to take the wave texture, plug the flactor into the blend up here. That's going to give us some weird vertical waves. Then we're going to take the factor of the noise and plug it into the scale. And then if we mess with the scale over here, we get some very interesting stuff. And you can just mess with all these settings until you get sort of a color scheme that you like. Thinking something around there. Over here, we're gonna turn the roughness all the way down. Let's just see what it looks like in metallic. It looks very interesting, I like that. And over here, we're gonna stretch out the material output. Shift A, and we're gonna add a mix shader. And then we're gonna add a subsurface scattering shader. Plug this one into the mix shader see if this is all the way this way it's the metallic all the way that way it's the subsurf I want to have 
and some subsurf, but I want that metallic sort of color to pop through as well. So we're just gonna set the factor to about there. But you can see we're getting some very interesting sort of reflections and glowiness. Perfect. All right, now after that, we're gonna click on the rings. For the rings, we're just gonna use up here, Blender Kit, switch it to Fine Materials, turn it on, and we're just gonna search for gold and use a free gold material. This is very easy to make, but I just like this personally. I like this third one right here because it's got a little bit of texture to it, so it's not perfectly reflective. You can click on that, and then here you can mess with this a little bit. I like going over to the scale and then turning the scale up to about three, just so it gives it a lot more bumps. And right click and shade smooth these two. We're also gonna add a subdivision surface to this at a size of two just to give it a real nice sort of glossiness. Make sure to select the other ones, Control L to link them and copy the modifiers. Let's go back to layout view real quick, just so we can get a better one. Close this. As we can see, this is looking pretty nice. We're gonna click on the background, material one, go back into shading. And we're just gonna delete this material to start. Add a new material. Change it from principled to glass. We're gonna turn this off so we can see that. We're gonna mess with the roughness of the glass until we get something that we like. Perfect. Right now, I kinda wanna see what it would look like if I turned the HDRI off, so I'm gonna switch to the world, and then just unplug the world real quick. That looks kinda cool. I think I honestly might roll with this and then we're just, because of that because we got rid of the light we're just gonna add an area light size it up by nine and move it back here so it's in the glass get three to go to side and get it located where we want rotate it how we want go back to camera view right now it's at 10 watts so let's see what it looks like at a thousand i like that maybe even 5,000, or not 5,000, 3,000. There we go. Then we're gonna add another light in the front. Sometimes it's important to try seeing what stuff would look like with HDRIs or just using lights because different situations require different lighting techniques to make everything look nice. I'm gonna angle this one pretty vertical and move it in right below. Make it a little smaller. So that we can get some light on the front. We're not gonna crank this one as high, maybe about 500 or so. You can see we're getting a little bit of weirdness down here on the legs just because of the way the light is located. So I might actually just move the light and rotate it a little more. And then just size it up a bunch. And then since we sized it up, we're gonna have to turn the volume, or not the volume, the wattage up from like 50 to like, about 2,000, 200-ish. Perfect. All right, we're gonna grab the floor. Not that one, but that one. And we're gonna change it to the same material as this. So click on that by holding down Shift, Control L, Link Materials. And we're gonna grab this, click on the orbs, Control L, Link Materials. Just gonna turn the emission down to about four, something around there. I'm gonna make this its own separate material now. And then we're gonna go back to this one over here on the main body. We're just gonna copy this color ramp, click here, back to the broken up wireframe, paste this, and plug it into there. Then we're gonna add the layer weight, plug that in. And now if you look at it, we've got some interesting stuff. We're still gonna click on this, Control T. And we're gonna mess with the reflection a little bit. Actually, UV. That looks pretty nice. 
is just still pretty strong. So we're gonna add a mix shader. these orbs right here instead of them being green to white yeah I think that looks better select all the orbs again control L link materials perfect all right I'm thinking this is looking pretty nice right now let's see how long we are on this third one right now 11 minutes Cool. All right, well, I might do one thing right now, which would be just turn this light down in the back. 3,000 to about one and a half thousand. Let's go back. And I think that's looking pretty nice. Let's see what it would look like if we put the HDRI back on it just for a second might be too bright but it might look pretty nice you never know put the color in as you can see it's very bright right now I kind of do like how it looks with that so maybe I'm just gonna add a brightness and contrast and I just turn the brightness down a little bit maybe negative one and then select the back pane we're just gonna make this black real quick to see what it would look like. Let's turn the roughness down and the metallic up so it's a solid black. I kind of like that. And then we're gonna select the water. I wonder what the water would look like if it was black. Not the best. Let's make it grayish though. Perfect. All right, I think that is it. That is a basic three-part tutorial on how to make a sort of abstract figure. I will now show you guys what the final render looks like. Before uh, I do that though, let's go over my render settings. I just set it to cycles with my GPU selected. And I turn all the limits off and my max sample set to 4096, and then I'll just render it. Right now it's set at 1920 by 1920, but if you want it to be in 4K, simply just change that to 200% and then it'll render. So we're gonna render it now and I will be back with my final result. All right, this is my final result. As you can see, I went back and I got rid of the glowing orbs and felt like it was causing too much distortion. So that's one important thing to always have in consideration is don't be afraid to delete stuff that you did because sometimes it looks better without it. Um, I threw it into Photoshop, all I ever, all I really did was mess with the brightness and the contrast, and yeah, that's the final image. Cool, so, thank you guys for watching this, if you made it through all three parts and made an image like this or this, uh, let me know, um, follow my Instagram, subscribe here, like, do all that stupid shit, um, I'm gonna keep trying to make more tutorials and get better. So I'm sorry if these aren't the best in the beginning. I just need to learn how to vocalize better. The cat sneezing.